some more mommy tips and some more mommy talk. Today, we're gonna be discussing the top fears of a first time mom. This is gonna be fun and this is gonna be interesting. But first, do not forget to subscribe right there. Click that button and subscribe so you can get all your updates. But you gotta, gotta hit the bell so that you get your emails and all your updates about every time I post. Okay? So don't forget to subscribe. Just go ahead and just stop what you're doing, pause the video, and subscribe. Okay? Let's get into it. Top fears of a first time mom. The first fear that I know all moms deal with, not even first time moms, like even if it's your second or your third child, we all think about it. Birth defects and health issues. <laughs> and I know everybody's like, yes, yes, on the screen because it was something that was like literally, it was making me sick. I was thinking about it so much. And I know, especially when you go to that first ultrasound, you're like looking at that screen like, doctor, please tell me that my baby's okay. Please tell me all the limbs are there. Please tell me his two feet are there. Please tell me that his hands are there. You see everything, everything's good and, and they're growing healthy. Those are just all you're gonna be, all your questions. And I completely understand, I was completely in the boat. But my only piece of advice, for that, for that um, fear is that you don't stress about it and you don't um, find yourself worrying about it because you're gonna cause issues in your within your body. So just make sure that you're not stressing about it too much and that you're not thinking overthinking about it. I know that it's gonna be a concern. I know that you're gonna think about it, but just don't stress about it too much. Just relax and understand that the Lord has, has everything in his hands and that if you're dealt that cup, He's going to make sure that he supplies you with everything that you need to be able to handle it. Just remember that the Lord will never put more, more on you than you can bear. So you're going to be good. Just relax and just allow your pregnancy to flow smoothly. The second fear is fear of body changes and just the weight gain and the stretch marks and all those things. And especially if you're a first time mom, if you've never actually gained that kind of weight. And you know, not all moms don't gain a whole, whole bunch of weight. I gained 80 pounds, by the way. Check out that video um, on how I lost my weight. Go ahead and plug that in. But I, lost, I gained 80 pounds with my first pregnancy. And I know a lot of moms tell me that with the first pregnancy, you usually gain your most weight. So I gained 80 with my first one and I gained 50 with my second one. But if you're a first time mom, a lot of time there are a lot of ways for you to lose your baby weight. So don't think about that so much, okay? There are ways for you to lose your baby weight. You can work out, you can breastfeed, you can do a lot of things to lose your weight. So don't let that be a fear. Don't let that be a concern of yours about the weight. Just enjoy being able to eat. Enjoy being able to have whatever you want. Enjoy that time because there's going to come a time after the baby when you're going to have to cut back. You're not going to be able to eat whatever you want. You're not going to have to put down those snacks to get that weight to come off. So while you're pregnant, enjoy the time when you can eat what you want and allow yourself to just do that. Now about stretch marks, hey, I cannot guarantee that you're not going to get stretch marks. I was blessed. I did not get them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But there are women who do. There are women who have stretch marks who haven't even had any children. So don't let that be a concern. It is what it is. Stretch marks are a sign that something has stretched and it has gone back in. And that is, those are, those are battle wounds. Those are battle scars. Be proud of that. Be proud that you carried your children and that you birthed them and that your body stretched out. That's, that's womanly. So embrace that and, 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 and love yourself for that. Don't be ashamed and don't be fearful of that. Okay. Three, labor. <laughs> labor and childbirth that is like the biggest fear i ask so many moms these questions and every single last one of them said childbirth and labor that whole experience thinking about it being a first time mom it can be what is it petrifying tetra what petrified it's fearful you gotta be you can be very afraid of thinking about a baby coming out of your vagina it can be very fearful but i will say it's not as bad as the videos make it seem i know you're gonna youtube i know you're gonna google i know you're gonna watch a bunch of labor videos but it's not as bad as it seems and i will say that because my first son i had a, i've experienced vaginal and c-section and it's not as bad as people make it so just understand that you're, you're gonna have your own experience, that people can answer questions for you. I can try to answer questions for you as well. But in the end, you're gonna have your own experience and just try to just relax and just don't stress about it so much because it's, it's not, 
after after it's done you're gonna be like it wasn't even that bad you know it, it wasn't you know yes you're gonna have contractions yes you're gonna have to get an epidural yes you're gonna have to do those things and i will have another video just on how to prepare for labor but just it's not that bad y'all it's really not no don't get me wrong let me not let me not put 100 on 10. it is a lot you know just because it's gonna be a lot going on with the doctors and the contractions and just everything but if you prepare yourself mentally it's not that bad four making mistakes as a new mom now once your baby comes out there are going to be a lot of things that you don't know you're a new mom and just understand that and that it's okay you're learning and that if you don't allow yourself to make mistakes you won't learn so do not come out of it thinking that you need to know all things mommy because you're not i didn't get here and, and i'm not a uh, expert I just know from my own experience and I've had two children and when I my first son came out I didn't know nothing but you're gonna have your mom you're gonna have your sisters you're gonna have your aunts you're gonna have your grandmothers you're gonna have your friends hey you have me subscribe <laughs> but you're gonna have people who will be there to answer questions for you so just don't allow yourself be because after the baby comes you're at risk for postpartum depression and if you over worry if you're over concerned if you kind of do, do too much thinking and being in your head, you can trigger that. So just relax, allow yourself to rest. At that time, it's the time for your family and friends to help you so that you can rest and pump and get, get used to your schedule and all those things. Not, not so much as mastering motherhood. You know, just allow it to come over time. You will get it, you will learn your baby. And at that point, nobody will know your baby like you. And five. This one kind of goes along with four, but it's accidental death or injuries due to your lack of inexperience. And I know a lot of moms that I, that I when I surveyed some different moms, they talked about SIDS. And I understand that that's a, um, a concern because it's real and it happens. There are a lot of moms who have lost their children to SIDS and to accidental deaths, you know, just because they didn't know not to do certain things or they didn't know to do certain things. But just relax that's what all i'll say and just understand that you love your child and that you're not trying to put your child at risk make sure that you follow the doctor's orders no blankets in the crib you know just make sure that that you're not laying there on their stomach too early um you know that they don't have anything in their faces and you know just just common sense things you know just make sure that you're you're, you're following the instructions of your doctors or whatever and then just your mother instinct is gonna kick in and you're just gonna you know just know not to do certain things or know that they need certain things now I, know, I understand that things still happen and there there's not too much that we can do about that you know sometimes the Lord just calls our children home and it's, it's out of our control there are a lot of moms who did everything preventative and they're they still lost their children due to SIDS or due to accidental deaths and those things and and as, as terrible as that sounds it's not anything that we can do about that and it's not anything to stress or worry or or just be in your head about all the time so just relax and just allow your motherly instinct to to take over and to just guide you in that like i said you should have your your family and your friends your mom your grandmother your aunts and you can ask questions and, and make sure that you ask your pediatrician questions about those type of things but just worrying about it and fearing it is just not going to help anything and it's just going to make you a nervous wreck and make the first part of the baby's life miserable because you're going to be checking and running and 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 all just all day and it's just it's you don't have to do all that just make sure that you're, you're taking the preventative steps and other than that just relax all right mommies that's all i've got for today those were the top fears of a new mom and i hope i covered everything i think i got them i think i, I think we did all five i think i think those were the top ones there may be some other ones and there will be links down in the description box to other fears um, from some other mom vlogs that i found were very interesting in the description box below but hey leave me messages comment below um like and subscribe and just let me know what you what your thoughts are if you have any other questions if you have any other concerns if you have any other fears that you maybe want me to hit on i will be more than happy to okay thank you so much for watching i plugged it already but do not forget to subscribe 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 now and don't forget to hit that bell so that you get all your updates about when I post, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And do not forget, if your children haven't told you today, you are a great mom and they appreciate all that you do. And remember, a woman who fears the Lord, her children will rise up and call her blessed.
You all have a great day. You love